From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I am your host Shivangi Mishra and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity, culture and advancements in the field of science and technology. Let's begin the show. Charkha, the spinning wheel that once became a symbol of India's Swadeshi movement during the British era is gathering dust these days. To revive this eco-friendly handloom technique of making khadi cloth, a group of youngsters in the Pune city of Maharashtra has come up with an initiative to provide free workshops in Charkha spinning. Every Sunday, many students and working professionals come to Charka Sang in Gandhi Bhavan in Kothrut area to learn this art and try their hands on Charka, an incredible engineering masterpiece from the Indian history. Take a look. A group of youngsters have started a unique initiative in the Kothrut area of Pune in Maharashtra. The group Go Through Charkha Sang is imparting free training for Charkha spinning, a traditional Indian handloom technique. Around 15 to 20 people gather at the premises of Gandhi Bhavan every Sunday to learn this art. Many corporate professionals and college students from different fields of work and studies come to attend these workshops. They believe the traditional way of using spinning wheel helps improve their concentration. The art, they say, helps them understand the efforts of handloom workers and ensues a feeling of gratitude and respect for everyone's profession and work. वैसे तो ये ये इलाके में बहुत अलग अलग टाइप के इंसान आते हैं जो कि वो एजुकेशन ले रहे हैं या तो कोई आईटी सेक्टर में जॉब कर रहे हैं या स्टूडेंट्स है वो सब लोग इधर आते हैं और उसमें से उनको बहुत अलग तरह का आनंद मिलता है मेडिटेशन जैसा समझो या कंसंट्रेशन लेवल उनका बढ़ने के लिए इसका इस्तेमाल होता है ऐसे लोगों को लगता है और वो इधर बैठने के बाद हर एक आदमी को उसका एहसास होता है कि उससे हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है वेन यू बाय क्लो बाय अ शर्ट और अ ट्राउजर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड फ्रॉम अ शॉप यू हैव वेरी लिटिल आइडिया ऑफ वॉट एक्चुअली गोज इन टू मेकिंग इट बट वेन आई स्टार्टेड लर्निंग दिस सूत कताई दैट एंटायर सप्लाई चेन स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग अपरेंट I got to know how. Uh, first of all, uh, you start with the raw cotton bud, right? When it is grown from the plant, so uh, take the seed out, then you uh, card the cotton, then make perus out of it, and then uh, start to draw the yarn, which is what we do on charkha, and then that yarn gets pro uh, woven into a fabric later on. Now that process also we got to know uh, when we visited Gopuri, uh, where uh, there are handlooms and weavers who uh, uh, people like Madhav Kaka who um, uh, create the yarn, they uh, that is woven into a fabric manually, and that's how finally a khadi fabric is made. So it's hand hand spun and hand woven fabric, and that is uh, very. Uh, this process is very illuminating interesting it tells us uh, what sort of effort is involved in making this one piece of uh, 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 one shirt or or a trouser that we casually buy when we go out um, in the market so yeah that's that's very informative and i look forward to at some point uh, wearing my uh, wearing a shirt that is made out of the yarn spun by myself The spinning wheel or charkha has been of great importance in the freedom struggle of India. Charkha became a symbol of Mahatma Gandhi's Swadeshi movement in 1905 that appealed to Indians to boycott import of clothes and encourage them to spin their own clothes. Although 
the art of spinning wheel was slipping off to extinction in the modern era, the charka sang is still keeping the traditional art alive. हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं जो सब पूरे नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस है इसमें और जितना हम अपनी जरूरत से ज़्यादा बना ही नहीं सकते हैं तो उसके वजह से ये जो कंजम्पशन है ये जो कंजम्पशन है उसके ऊपर नेचुरली कंट्रोल आता है तो कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इसमें बाह्य ऊर्जा की ज़रूरत नहीं सब अपनी अपनी मेहनत की ऊर्जा इस्तेमाल करके हम करते हैं तो जब आगे चल के फॉसिल फ्यूल ख़त्म हो जाएगा तब तब आप क्या करोगे तो तो तब तक तो ये एक कला के रूप में कम से कम जिंदा तो रहना चाहिए इसीलिए हम हमारा ये फर्ज बनता है कि हम सीखे और अपने अगली पीढ़ी को सौंपे ये स्किल माधव सहस्त्र बुद्धे हु इज अ फॉलोअर ऑफ महात्मा गांधी एंड एन इंथुजियास्टिक चरखा स्पिनर कंडक्ट वर्कशॉप्स इन द गांधी भवन इन कोथ रोड द चरखा संघ मेंबर्स आर प्रमोटिंग दिस ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन स्किल and they are extending these workshops to other areas as well now we take you to india's western state of goa where tourists and residents flock the beaches and other water bodies in the state to celebrate the most awaited festival sauja every year people of different faiths come here to mark the festival with stands for unity peace and brotherhood Let's take a glance at this colorful extravaganza. Goa is a tourist hub known for its beaches. The coastal state, however, accepting and promoting cultural and religious harmony. People of all faiths come here to celebrate, enjoy and spread the message of peace and harmony. A large number of tourists in Goa throng to swimming pools and small ponds to celebrate annual catholic festival sao jao it's a festival to pay regards to saint john the baptist as part of the celebration people jump into water bodies early in the morning in honor of saint john the baptist who is thought to have baptized jesus christ people donned in colorful outfits from several villages meet and celebrate the day like a carnival Goa has a lot of uh, heritage, culture, tradition, and Goa having a rich culture, heritage, tradition, it is very important to, for us to show what we have. I Ami, mean, we have already started the theme of Goa Beyond Beaches, and as we travel to the hinterland and we travel, start talking about our ecosystem in the hinterlands areas, in eco tourism and other areas, it is very important to take our festivities to the next level. We have only been talking about Shigmo and Carnival. So as we take those to the next level, we need to ensure that festivals which mean a lot to Goa, Sao Joao is a celebration of the it's a feast which is celebrated. Uh, similarly, Chikal Kalo. So all communities coming together, irrespective of religion, caste, creed, in Goa has been the theme. We go in each other's house for Diwali, Christmas, Eid, and similarly festivities. We expect everybody come together and have this sense of togetherness. and for the domestic and international tourists coming in as we market it we expect them to come and enjoy goa to the fullest to what goa has as its own culture and tradition indeed goa has remained an epicenter of interreligious unity among different religious communities the sao joao festival in goa is a significant illustration of mutual regards that various religious communities have for one another to take the celebrations up a notch revelers wear crowns of fresh fruits and wild flowers traditionally called kopel to celebrate the occasion like many goans festival sao jao has a captivating spirit of merriment color and tradition it's a long awaited a uh, festival for us and we enjoyed very well we love this festival to get wet in the rain and enjoy the different types of fruits and the culture of goa goa tourism is organizing this event for the very first time and we are very excited and we are having a lot of fun the religious harmony among the communities residing in goa is testimony to india's unity in diversity 
Such instances of interfaith harmony, however, can be found throughout the nation and during festivals. This integrity shines even brighter to show the world why India is exceptional and a global leader in terms of culture. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. India's southern Bengaluru city witnessed different flavors of talent as LGBT community members celebrated the Pride Month. Dressed in colorful attires, the members of the community were seen singing and dancing as they celebrated the day during the Rainbow Habba talent show. The month of June is celebrated globally every year as a Pride Month dedicated to supporting the LGBT community. India's Supreme Court in 2018 struck down Section 377, a colonial era law that outlawed same sex relations. Bollywood actress Dia Mirza picked up garbage in India's northern hill town of Shimla in a bid to give the Himalayan mountain range a cleaner, plastic free environment as she joined hands with the non-profit organization Healing Himalayas. Most people feel that it's not their work to take care of it. But I feel that if it's their work, then it's their work to take care of it. And the littering process will be maybe a little difference. You know, people will think 10 times before just randomly throwing their plastic waste or their waste anywhere. Uh, but more than anything else, I hope that at the end of this drive, um, ek accountability bana paayenge hum. The hill town, which is a popular tourist destination, is reeling under an overwhelming burden of littering which threatens Shimla's ecosystem. The Himachal Pradesh government has installed waste to energy plants and created buyback opportunities for rag pickers to earn their livelihoods from cleaning the surroundings as the state attempts to combat the challenge. Studies link plastic as one of the most hazardous waste, especially owing to its non-degradable properties. In 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the Swachh Bharat or Clean India campaign and vote to control pollution. The city of Uttar Pradesh, Aligarh, also known as the city of locks, has one more speciality. For centuries, Aligarh has remained an epicenter of communal harmony, where Muslim and Hindu communities have been living amicably and fostered a bond, even stronger than the Aligarh locks. Both the communities celebrate all the festivals of India with much fervor and gaiety. As the Hindu festival of Kavar Yatra has begun, artisans of Hindu and Muslim communities are busy manufacturing small bills and gungurus to embellish the Kavars. Let's take a look at how both the communities work together to manufacture the best quality decorative ornaments for Kavar Yatra. Lakhs of devout pilgrims in the northern states of India are ready to embark upon a barefoot journey to the holy river Ganga. During the Hindu calendar month of Shravan, the devotees of Lord Shiva collect pious waters off the river in their kaanwars and offer it to Shiva temples in their locality. Kaanwar is basically a bamboo pole with earthen pots or containers suspended on either ends. The pilgrims who are called Kaanwariyas carry these Kaanwars on their shoulders during the journey to collect the river water and head back to their place. The pilgrims stop at several locations during their course and the people of different religious communities arrange for their food, stay and other needs during the travel. As the month of Shravan begins, both Hindu and Muslim artisans in a lock manufacturing industry in Aligarh are busy making decorative accessories such as bells, trinkets and other ornamental items. There is a great significance of these decorative accessories as the pilgrims use these small bells and trinkets to embellish their converts. I have been doing this for about 3-4 years. First of all, the tree was a tree. 
आज जो है घंटी घुंगू एनिमल ऑर्नामेंट्स का बहुत बड़ा व्यापार हमने कर लिया है इससे क्या है जो हमारे पुराने उद्योग में जो कमी थी कुछ जो मद्दा पर था इससे हमारी पूर्ति हो गई है और इसमें हिंदू मुसलमान दोनों भाइयों का इसमें सहयोग रहता है सभी लोग मिलजुल के कार्य करते हैं और जो जितने भी मंदिर के शिवालय हैं मंदिर हैं वहां पर सभी घंटियां सप्लाई होती हैं और कावर का ये श्रृंगार है कावर जो भी आदमी करता है वो श्रद्धा के हिसाब से अपना कावर को सजाता है और प्रेम पूर्वक उसको लेके जाता है और वो अपना सौभाग्य सिंह करता है सर इसमें घंटी घुंगरू डांसिक घुंगरू बहुत तरह के इसको वो रूप दे देता है अपने हिसाब से रूप देता है और अपने हिसाब से सीजन सावन का महीना पहली तारीख से शुरू होने वाला है तो सभी लोगों ने पहले से ही एडवांस में ऑर्डर दिए हुए हैं जिससे कि पहली तारीख से उनके पास माल पहुंच जाए और उनका व्यापार सुचारू रूप से चलने लगे The jingling of bells on Kaanwar not just soothes the mind of pilgrims but provide them a rhythm and spiritual power to continue their journey. Their religious journey however satisfies the workers of this industry too where Hindu and Muslim artisans work day and night to increase the production to meet the demand. Dina gungru bana rahe hum Saavan ka mahina chal raha hai कावरियों को सजाए जाते हैं जी जी कावर सजाने काम आते हैं घुंगू सावन का महीना चल रहा है हिंदू मुस्लिम मतलब कार्य हम लोग सब काम कर रहे हैं हमें बहुत भाईचारा रहता है प्यार मोहब्बत बहुत है जी बहुत सीजन बढ़िया चल रहा है इसमें हजार पाँच सौ बारह सौ जैसा अपने ऊपर काम है बहुत बढ़िया काम चल रहा है हजार आठ सौ नौ सौ बढ़ जाती है हमारी हिमालय बहुत बढ़िया है मैं मुस्लिम हूँ हमारे मालिक है हिंदू बहुत बढ़िया सुहाव के हैं कोई हिंदू मुस्लिम कुछ नहीं है हमारी फैक्ट्री में बहुत बढ़िया काम चल रहा है To encourage religious amalgamations, people from both communities, Hindu and Muslim, are getting involved in the making of various artistic items from the decoration of kaanwars. The industry is garnering a lot of popularity for their good quality kaanwar ornaments and the friendships that have fostered among the artists of this industry. Among the many such examples of coexistence of different religious communities in Aligarh, this industry too is setting up a precedent of communal harmony in the culturally diverse society of India. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. A still life fresco depicting a possible ancestor of the typical Italian food pizza has been found on the wall of a house in Pompeii, the ancient Roman city, wiped out by an eruption of volcano Mount Vesuvius 2000 years ago, the Italian culture ministry said. This kind of image known by the ancient name of Xenia was inspired by the welcome gifts offered to guests. The fresco was found in the atrium of a house with a bakery attached to it where research was resumed last january after partial excavations at the end of 19th century pompeii 23 kilometers southwest of naples was home to about 13000 people when it was buried under ash pumice pebbles and dust as it endured the force of an eruption in the year 79 AD equivalent to many atomic bombs A slew of rappers turned out for red carpet on the BET Awards on Sunday This year the award show is celebrating 50 years of hip hop with the anniversary being held later in the year on August 11 The show invited rappers past and present to perform for celebration. I think hip hop is culture. It's a movement. It's a worldwide culture. It's deeper than just hip hop. Um and to celebrate it tonight is a part of culture. <laughs> This is pop culture. Although many see hip hop as a musical genre, it is also seen as a creative movement. Hip hop went from grassroots to become a major business over the years not just with music but also with art fashion and more It has also spread to numerous other countries Nominees in the BET International Act hail from as far as South Africa Ghana and the UK 
in line with their celebration, rapper Busta Rhymes is set to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award during the ceremony. Moving on. The Indian government has been instrumental in providing a holistic development to the Kashmiri youth. A job fair was organized in the Kulgam district of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir by the District Employment and Counseling Center to harness the potential and aptitude of the Kashmiri youth. Many private and government departments were present for placements and several candidates received on-spot offer letters. Take a look. Ever since the abrogation of Article 370, the whole of Kashmir has been showered with a number of youth-centric events and programs. The administration is putting concerted efforts to benefit the people at large through its various welfare schemes. To encourage and empower the youths of Kashmir, a job fair was organized in the office premises of the District Employment and Counseling Centre in Kulgam district of Jammu and Kashmir. The fair facilitated smooth interactions between job seekers and the job providers through this platform. I have completed my PG, complete. After that, I have completed my PG, complete. तो मैंने जब बजाज अलंसा देखा तो मैंने उसमें अप्लाई करके अपना कैरियर जो देखा है तो बहुत ही अच्छा मुझे लगा है तो मुझे जॉब मिल गया इसमें मेरी सैलरी जो रह गई ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी थाउजेंड एबो रह गई मेरी फर्स्ट जॉब रह गई तो मैंने सोचा कि मेरे लिए ये बहुत ही अच्छा है और मेरे कैरियर के एक बोस्ट अच्छा करेगा तो मैं अपने दोस्तों से भी यही गुजारिश करूँगा कि वो भी अपना जॉब जो है गवर्नमेंट के बजाय अगर वो इसमें भी देख लेंगे प्राइवेट सेक्टर में भी अप्लाई करेंगे जीरो से स्टार्ट करना है हमें तो तभी हम आगे पहुंच जाएंगे तो मेरी यही गुजारिश रहेगी उनकी कि वो यहाँ पे आके अपना फॉर्म रजिस्ट्रेशन कीजिए कंप्लीट करने के बाद वो किसी भी इंश्योरेंस बजाज हो या एस हो वो जो भी यहाँ पर कंपनी है अवेलेबल है तो उन्होंने एक मौका दिया है हर किसी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट को यहाँ बहुत सारी कंपनीज आई है जो बेरोजगार यूथ एक मौका देता है कि आप आइए इसमें शिरकत करें कि आपका फ्यूचर रोशन हो जाएगा और साथ ही साथ हम बहुत सारे अफसरान यहाँ पर भी मौजूद हैं जिन्होंने हमें मुतासर किया उन्होंने स्पीच देकर हम हमको मुतासर किया कि आप पढ़ाई कमाई के साथ साथ और कोई भी एग्जाम भी क्वालिफाई कर सकते हो और जो आजकल यूथ है वो फ्रस्ट्रेशन में है वो कोशिश करते हैं कि यूथ को निकालेंगे और एक अच्छा सा प्लेटफार्म इनको देंगे ताकि वो अपनी जिंदगी चैन से गुजारेंगे as they are endeavouring to grasp every opportunity they get. The job fair across the district is inspiring youths to participate in large numbers and is proving to be a boon for those seeking jobs. More than 12 private companies and skill development organisations along with various government departments such as the Animal Husbandry, Women Development Corporation and Handloom and Handicrafts Department have come up to mentor the Kashmiri youngsters. Around 12 candidates got on-spot job offer letters after evaluation of their academic records and ability to perform in the industries. A fresh registration of 350 candidates was made during the job fair and 257 candidates were shortlisted for further rounds. इस तरीके की जो ये जो फ्रेम मेलास होते हैं डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्स में जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट जो एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड काउंसलिंग सेंटर्स जो ये प्रोग्राम हेल्ड करते हैं एक बहुत अच्छा इनिशिएटिव है सबसे पहले तो क्योंकि एक मौका मिलता है हमारी जो जॉब सीकर्स होते हैं जॉब प्रोवाइडर्स होते हैं उनको एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म मिलता है आमने सामने आने का ताकि वो अपनी एक्सपीरियंस को थोड़ा सा एक्सप्लोर करें किस तरीके से हमें आगे जाना चाहिए क्या कुछ चीज़ें इसमें होती हैं एक्सप्लोर किस तरीके से इन चीज़ों को किया जाए हाँ रही बात यहाँ पर इससे कितना फ़ायदा मिलता है लोगों को देखिए अभी तक काफ़ी ज़्यादा फायदा मिला इस चीज़ 
दूसरे लोगों को क्योंकि जहाँ तक हम परसों हमारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बड़गाम में भी गई वहाँ पर भी हम ऑन स्पॉट दो लोगों को वहीं पर जो है एम्प्लॉयमेंट दे और आज का हमारा टारगेट है ऑन स्पॉट पाँच लोगों को ही जो है एम्प्लॉयमेंट देना इसमें सबसे पहली बात जो है जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट एम्प्लॉयमेंट जो करिए काउंसिलिंग सेल होती है या अपने पोर्टल पर ये जो है डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स पर जो है ऑनलाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन करवाते हैं और उसके बाद उसकी एडवर्टीजमेंट होती है कि फलाना डेट पर जो है इस तरीके से यहाँ पर ऐसी ऐसी चीज़ें हो जाएंगी देन आफ्टर दैट जो है लोग जो उनको वो अवेयर हो जाते हैं और वो यहाँ पर आ जाते हैं एंड वो अपने साथ रिज्यू में लाते हैं जिनके साथ रिज्यू में नहीं होता है वो यहाँ पर अपने रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म्स भरते हैं और अपने अपने फील्ड्स में के रेलिवेंटली वो जो है अपना अपना जो अब जो है वो देखने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और हमने हमारी भी यही कोशिश होती है जॉब प्रोवाइडर्स की कि हम उनको जो है बेहतरीन तरीके से उनको गाइड भी करें कोशिश करते हैं उनको सपोर्ट करने ताकि एक बच्चा खुद जॉब प्रोवाइडर बने न कि जॉब सीकर रहे यूथ होल द की टू एनी नेशन ग्रोथ एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गिव दम मोर पावर the government has been supporting a number of activities and projects like these in kashmir such initiatives in kashmir shall help produce a large number of professionals and entrepreneurs who would later contribute to nation's progress that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us Do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Shivangi Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.